Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Joel Joshi Otero. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgeon in Burgos, Spain. Today, I'm going to show you how we place a maxillary single implant for molar number 16 using dynamic navigated surgery under local anesthesia. This is the X-Guide Navigator from Novel Biocare. I wanted to show you the advantages of doing navigated surgery even in a single and straightforward implant. You will see that the setting of the navigator may take a few extra minutes, but in the end the process is uh, very rewarding. When I do freehand surgery for implants, sometimes I find myself thinking after surgery whether the implant was maybe two millimeters farther than planned or the angle was not the best. How is the dental prosthesis uh, going to be? With the x guide I feel that, the, uh, that what you plan is what you get, at least uh, to a certain extent. Of course, you will always have something unexpected happening, but uh, you get closer to your goals. Let's go to theater. First, we start with the planning. This is a young female patient in her 30s, no known morbidities. She comes to the clinic for oral rehab of the first, third, and fourth quadrant. Although we did the complete surgical uh, process in one go, I wanted to show a complete step-by-step -step process for one implant, as the rest is the same. We're working with DTX software, um, we can see here that we have around eight millimeters of bone, nice clean septum-free sinus. Uh, we plan a 4.3 by 10 millimeters implant, uh, and I think uh, it should go uh, pretty well. Now let's go to the surgery. First, we start with the X mark setting. This is what will allow us to, syn to synchronize the CVCT and what we have in the screen with the patient in a dynamic way in, in theater. So, this is uh, um, this is a piece that it's uh, around 60 degrees uh, Celsius. It's been warmed up, so it gets soft. And then once uh, we record uh, three teeth uh, of the patient, so it will have a, a moderate stability. We remove it, we place it in cold water. And after that, we fix it. We fix it to the tracker, check it fits securely and it's not moving. And after that, uh, we can proceed with the next steps. If the patient is uh, edentulous, then we will have to fix the tracker into the maxilla or the mandible with screws. Now, this is the part where you have to synchronize all the instruments that you are going to use with the stereotaxic uh, cameras that we have on the, on the X-Guide. So, this process is well known by your nurse. So. She goes uh, fairly fast uh, doing the calibration. As you see, every time you, you get the goal of uh, achieving the calibration, you will get a note uh, reminding you that everything is going okay. You just follow the steps 
This may take maybe three or four minutes, not more. Then we improve the calibration and we check that everything is going according to plan. With these uh, steps, we take three to four um, measurements and check them on the patient and check that we are having on the screen the same point. Afterwards, we kind of uh, improve even more the, the, the system, doing a slight painting over the tools and then checking them out on the software. In this, uh, we can be completely uh, sure that uh, what we are pointing on our navigator, it's uh, accurate. I may go to a cusp, I may go to a specific landmark I find uh, in the oral cavity and check it correlates uh, with, the, with the imaging. Once we have finished uh, this, uh, this process, we start with the drilling protocol for a regular implant. This is the pilot drill to start the protocol. And then we can see on the images that we are going accordingly to, to plan. Now we go for the second drill. This is one of the advantages I like using both hands and I can, um, I'll have to bend over the, the patient to check that the implant in, it's in the right place. I just uh, look forward to the screen. Every time I change the drill, in this case, I have to measure it in case it's a different length. If it's the same, you don't have to, you can uh, click on the, on the screen that it's the same and you can avoid this step. The good, one of the good parts of this kind of surgery is that it's uh, minimally invasive, so uh, we don't even have to make uh, an incision. For this, I put the first uh, drill, and after that I take a punch, uh, a biopsy punch, and then I use it and take out and remove a small cylinder of the mucosa, and then I keep on over that uh, with the rest of the drills. In this case, we wanted to place the implant using also the, the x guide. You really don't have to because if you have uh, done the, the proper uh, drilling protocol, then it's not needed because it, the implant will go by itself. But in this case, I wanted to check how it went according to plan and how I can make sure that it's uh, going to be uh, uh, in the whole, uh, in the proper depth of the of the maxillary sinus. So I wanted to go between one and two millimeters in the sinus for this implant, and this I could check as you can see on the screen. We got a great torque above 35 newton in this case, and then. the screw cap and we're done.
Well, thank you everybody for watching the video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And please comment below if, if you have any thoughts and uh, see you the next time. Have a great day.